Okay, we are on 14654. And we're going to give the power test here. Okay, that was uh, 2 meters. This is uh, 440. And this is a tri band radio. Pretty good. And uh, I did sign on all of those, so you uh, don't have to worry. <laughs> all right, so I'm impressed with that. That's pretty good. Set up to 8 watts. I got 6, 9 on the. Uh, Yeah, on the two meter there. Um, performance seems to be uh, pretty good. Well, you know, I, I could be having some loss within my connectors and my this coax. Maybe a little suspect connectors. They're cheapos, but uh, yeah, I'm happy with that. So here's something cool, you guys. This is all of the um, national simplex calling frequencies for all of the ham radio bands and you can see there's 2 meters 1.25 and 70 centimeters and uh, you know that's what we did those tests on we, I don't think I was on the simplex calling frequency on 2 meters but I forget what I was <laughs> anyhow that's the uh, all of the national simplex Calling frequencies for VHF, HF, all of the ham bands. So that's kind of cool. So you can see that this thing is a lot like identical, essentially, from what I can tell, to the 935G plus. And I like the the 935G plus so much. I'm like, I instantly purchased this thing. I'm like, okay, I I like this radio. And if I can get a ham radio that does that, USB-C in the back there. Now, you can buy extra USB-C batteries. Let's see here. I have my old UV-8H. It's not that old, but you can see it does not have the USB-C. But these batteries will fit the older UV-8Hs. And this is a great radio. Um, I mean, huge uh, functionality in this radio too. So, this is a good radio. Even the older um, the older Wotions are, are great radios. The functionality is awesome in these things. But, there are some things that they've changed and upgraded in this one that I really like. And I wish they would maybe consider coming up with the uh, firmware upgrade for this thing um, so I can just maybe simple things like that I can leave the backlight on always uh, always on option um, some brightness capabilities some different stuff on there but the batteries do fit this radio but that's it's still the same essentially the same same case They've been using and it's great it's fine it works for me that's the UV8H let's see what this side looks like same thing this radio has been out quite a while it's it's basically the guts um, are different which I like if they if they would come up with a firmware upgrade on that that would be awesome I don't know if that's a thing you can do motion or not but Please consider that uh, for these older radios. So, having said that, um, yeah, the the case is is comfortable. It's good. The themes are good. I'll show you guys some themes here while we're at it. Just having fun. Function select. Function, and then you've got number four here. Instead of going back, 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 back. 
the same, you can go, let me try and get in focus here, set this thing a little bit better. Okay, so you can go menu Function and then um, channel 4. And then you go menu again. And then this is set on cool. Let's try that one. So you reboots. Channel load one. It's kind of a green and white. Looks nice and clean. I like that one. Very nice. Function select. So function four, four and theme. Let's go to candy, see what that's like. Who doesn't like candy? Channel mode one. I'm going to shut that radio off and get an interference. So that's kind of a purpley color. Try and dim this down just a There you go. So another theme. Function select. Function four. Oh. Um, white. Uh, black one. Channel mode one. It's kind of like the 935G. Let me bring that over here. That's, uh, this is the 935G. Similar, but they put a darker ba background on the 935G. This is one of my favorite themes. I can't get it quite like that. I have to go inside the uh, software and see if I can adjust the background a little bit. But it's pretty close. So, and the same thing here. You have same, same case, same basically everything. So here's the 935G. Here's the 935G+. Plus. Both GMRS radios, same cases. Here's the the ham radio, EV8H, and uh, just for kicks here, I'm going to compare this look and size to the Q10H. Don't ask me which one I like best. Q10H is cool radio, but um, it's quad band. Let me bring that. There we go. That's better. Okay. Let's go back to the theme. On this. Oops. Let's go to rain and see what that's like. One. Oh, maybe you already did that one. That's kind of a purple. Sorry, that's not showing up that great. But um, let's go through functionality here, the, the menus, okay? I'm literally going to scroll through all of these so you can see what they are. I've not tried the timer. Call code. So, repeater PTT and repeater speaker. That means you can turn the speaker on and off. You, when you use this radio as a repeater, you can actually set the speaker in this radio to turn off and on. I will go through over. I will go over <clears throat> the crossband repeat function in its own video. I love the side key options. I will go through those as well. Weather notify. I really like that option. We're going tone, or you can tone uh, icon only, weather, flat, uh, 
flash or flash. I love the versatility, you guys. Thank you, Ocean, for that. That's cool. I just set it to tone. When you have a uh, NOAA weather test or an emergency, like Wednesdays here at 10 a.m. where I'm at, they do a test, and this thing will go off. Tone scan. Scan groups and these things are cool. Scan mode. I usually use CO. Enter. Backlight. I really like. Left so, select. Um, you can leave it to always on or always off. Enter. Or up to 20 seconds. Weather alert on or Enter. off. Brightness active. So that shows you how what level of um, brightness you want the screen to be when it is active. That means Enter. when you're using the radio. So when you sit here, brightness standby, we're going to go to 5. And Enter. then um, the, it's not going to do that. It's not going to go down because I put that to always on. Let me go back here. I want to show you guys this because that's kind of cool. They should have those right together. <laughs> okay, my bad. Come on, where's the backlight? There we go. Always on. All right, I want for... Let's do for... Demonstration Enter. purposes. We're going to go... So now it's full 10. And when in 7 seconds, it's going to dim... And that's what it does. And maybe I should put that down. Yeah, that's actually select. Um, a good learning <laughs> tool right there. Brightness standby, or no, brightness active. Let's turn that down for the Enter. display. There we go. That's better. We learned something there together. So we're going to go back. Select. Um, I'm going to go the other way, squelch, lots of good functions you guys, you can program this thing, a repeater into this so easy, it's ridiculous, and I will go over the scan groups too, so, um, Let's see here. I think I'm going to stop the video right there. I'm at 13 minutes for a bunch of crazy stuff. So, thanks for watching, you guys. I'm going to do uh, maybe, um, well, I don't know if I'll figure out what I'm going to do next, but maybe side button functionality on the next video. So, thanks for watching. Have a good one.